Maybe. All right. Uh, for this example, we're comparing two acids, and they are H2O and CuH2O6, uh, and I believe this is 2 plus. That's right. Okay, and we want to know which one is the stronger acid. This is something I didn't really talk, I don't think I mentioned in class. Um, there's really a couple ways you could actually do this. You'll see if, if you look on this page, uh, I also ask you for the reasons. Uh, usually recently I haven't asked for the reasons, but I definitely would want to know which one is stronger. Uh, so there's two ways you can do this. Uh, let's see. So the way I do the strong acids, one, one of the ways you could do this is take off one of the protons. Uh, and so you have H2O5 with an OH that has lost a proton. If it loses a proton, I guess this would be 3 plus. Okay. Oh, and this is not. Okay, we want to know which one of these is more stable, essentially. What happens is uh, this. Uh, metal here, according, actually this is in the subcategory of the inductive effect, uh, metals are good Lewis acids, and so they draw electrons towards themselves. And so if you had this entity that's a molecule like this one, and it had a negative charge right there, what it does is it draws the negative charge to be spread out over the whole molecule, and that stabilizes it when, whenever what we call delocalized. So the charge is not in one place, but spread out. That's what the inductive charge does, uh, inductive effect does. And we've normally seen it with chlorine and fluorine, but metals is actually another subcategory of it. And so that would make this more stable because this would be a hydroxide group here, making this the stronger acid, where this has nothing to stabilize that minus charge. There's another way you can look at it that could have been a little bit faster. Transition metals in general, as I mentioned, are Lewis acids. So if you see a transition metal, it's probably going to be acidic. Whereas you know water here would just be neutral, 7.0 pH. So that's another way you could have answered it. But again, a subcategory of inductive effect. Is that all right for you?